Hi again. What we're now going to talk about is how you can dynamically create all the different custom classes that you've been making in ActionScript without having to place them directly onto the artboard. If we take a look at our project, you'll remember that we've specifically in Flash Pro have placed our roll button and our die on the stage. If we delete these, we can still add these, but do them in ActionScript inside of our document class. So if you go into our document class, here we can create each of the different objects and then add them to this place that can do everything else that we have done in the past. There's a little bit of a different way of how we do this, though, because all the different attributes or uh, variables that we create have to be created before the constructor. So you're going to be separating out the naming of your objects from the actual creation of them in two separate steps. So let's do this. After the uh, opening of our class here, but before our constructor, let's create our two, our two objects here. So we'll create a public variable called role button, which is going to be a game button. And then another one, public variable die1, which is a die. Now, you'll notice that code hinting will help a little bit more here. That's because all the classes we have here are located at the same location as our flaw. For right now, when you use all the, all the ActionScript files at the same location as your flaw, those will be available in, in the code hinting. There are other ways you can organize these, but we're going to be talking that, about that later. So if I say public die 1, I've now created the name of these different objects, but I still don't actually have the instances of them yet because we haven't invoked their constructor. We need to do that explicitly, and we'll do that inside of our application um, document class. So at the beginning of this, let's go ahead and say role button equals new game button. And then we'll also we'll say die1 equals a new die. Now if I, run, if I save and run this, everything will work, but we're not going to have actually anything on the display stack. Let's go ahead and do that now. Add child roll button, add child, die one. And let's position these so that they look in approximately the same place as before. So let's do roll button x equals 25, roll button y equals 25, and then die one x equals 250, die one y equals 25. Save this and run it. And you see that everything works exactly as it did before. But now, the stage doesn't actually contain anything inside of the flaw. We're doing all the dynamic creation of our different custom classes now directly inside of the document class. In the next video, we're also going to combine a couple other things. When we created our button here, we still had to define the label of it externally. We can combine that by using the constructor as a way to define what the label is going to be when we instantiate or create that using the constructor. And we'll do that in the next video.